Now this time of year when I'm doing skin cancer screenings, most of my patients will say, I swear I was wearing sunscreen. I was even wearing an SPF of 70 or higher and I still got a suntan. Now why is this happening? And the real reason is based on the history of sunscreen. Sunscreens were not developed to stop you from tanning. They were designed to help you tan. I have a bottle of CNC sunscreen from back in the 70s and if you read the label, the bottle actually states this product is designed to help you quote, skip the burn and start tanning your first day out. Sunscreens were not historically there to prevent skin cancer. Sunscreens were developed to allow you to spend more time in the sun and not burn in the sun by blocking only UVB rays, filtering them specifically to allow UVA rays to penetrate through. UVA rays are what's responsible for tanning your skin and by doing so you can get more color. The challenge that we're faced with now is that, yes, historically that was helpful for those that wanted to spend more time outdoors. We do find that people that wear sunscreen are more likely to spend more time outdoors, whether it be the lifestyle that guides their sunscreen choices or their ability to wear sunscreen that allows them to spend more time outdoors. It's hard to say which direction that comes in, but the reality is, is that people are spending more time outdoors when they do wear sunscreen because they can. They're not burning, they're only getting color. The only challenge that we're faced with now is we are learning more about UV rays. Back in 1969, an article came out that said that it's sunlight, not innate aging, that is responsible for many of the changes that we see as we get older. That was probably one of the first times that we really started to understand this concept of premature aging of the skin. Premature aging of the skin is this aging of the skin that is not inherent to getting older. It's something that's a result of the environmental factors that impact our skin, whether it be sunlight, other types of light sources, dietary, lifestyle interventions, pollution, other aspects of our life that we're exposed to. That's when we really started to gain a better understanding of the fact that sunlight, which is responsible for most of the UV exposure that we get, could be responsible for aging our skin faster. One of the first sunscreens that was developed by L'Oreal called Ombre Solaire it actually had claims of tanning five times faster without burning. So again, sunscreens were not developed to stop you from getting color and they really can't do so unless they have added ingredients that are designed to do so. We started to see the term broad spectrum popping up on sunscreens to indicate blockage of UVA light but this term is not very clear and it's actually not ideal simply because the study that my research group performed this summer of actually cataloging 410 sunscreens available in the Philadelphia region, we found that 100% of them said they had broad spectrum coverage even if they had an SPF of four, which means that they are not necessarily providing you with adequate UVA coverage even if they're not applying you with adequate UVB coverage. So by not getting adequate UVA coverage, yes, you're gonna see a tan. We're only now starting to learn and understand the impact that UVA can have on your skin with regards to premature aging of the skin. So yes, we are finding that the use of sunscreen with UVB coverage is at least preventing a burn, reducing our tendency towards skin cancers, which is absolutely essential. It really has a niche in that category. When it comes to premature aging of the skin, we have not seen that as the case. So what we really need to start focusing on is the full spectrum of benefits that a sunscreen could offer if it's formulated correctly. We want to make sure that if you're already going through the trouble of applying sunscreen, why not make sure it has the ingredients that are designed to do both? If you're going to spend so much time and money on skincare products and trying to reduce the signs of aging or reverse the signs of aging, why not prevent it in the first place by just choosing the right sunscreen that actually blocks UVA and UVB adequately? By doing so, you're going to reduce your need or tendency for skincare interventions as you're getting older. These skincare interventions are really only designed to try to reverse the changes that didn't have to happen in the first place.